here is really important to me, but it's also important to acknowledge at least three of the participants. If they could stand up, I see uh, Cecil Willis, uh, Mikhail Bethune, and Richard Watson. Because this piece is, ironically, us as artists really didn't do much besides put a camera in people's faces. And that was the really beauty of it, that the fact that all of the work was inspired by the, the creativity, the intelligence, the, the curiosity, and the generosity of the participants. And so we were able to travel the country and get about 160 participants in about seven or eight different cities. And we have 30 from Philadelphia, and we shot at the Philadelphia African American Museum. Uh, but the project started with a, a former professor of ours, uh, Chris Johnson, who was one of our collaborators on the project, who did a project called Question Bridge in 1996, where he really wanted to get members of the African American community who didn't speak to one another, who divided by class or generations, to talk. And he thought that if he was a mediator with a video camera, he could ask them to talk by asking people to ask and answer each other's questions. And, um, around 10 years later, I, I approached him about um, updating the project, focusing specifically on African-American men, because I realized how many limited perspectives of African-American men there are in our society, and I, I realized that the craziest thing about blackness is that black people didn't create it, that Europeans with a commercial interest in dehumanizing us created black people. And we've been trying to make it our own, but rarely on our own terms. So uh, this project was an opportunity for, you know, to show that there's as much diversity within any demographic as there is outside of it, by getting these men to ask and answer each other's questions. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to back up for, for two seconds and sort of maybe give a little bit of context. So I, I want to talk about both, both films, but just since this film was so immediate, I just wanted to talk about question for a little bit. Uh, both uh, 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 by Amy and, and, and uh, Hank, both of, both of your works have been dealing with the black iconography. And um, as a photographer, uh, you, know, you, you, you make uh, your work by is really uh, uh, very, very thoughtful and very, very, uh, it's, it's very conscious of, in terms of photographic technique. I know this is a film festival, but I think I'm also really interested in about how you came up with the particular approach, the sort of transmedia approach for this, this work. And also a little bit about the photographic look of the work, those decisions that went into that. Well, the interesting thing about the transmedia approach is we didn't necessarily come up with it. It kind of came up upon us. So as we were traveling and filming all these different people for Question Bridge, we realized that we needed to make this work accessible to different types of people in different circumstances. And so we knew that you know certain people we can engage with through events. Certain people we would be able to engage with through the internet. Certain people would go to museums and galleries. Certain people would respond to film scripts. And so what ended up happening was we felt like, you know, as artists in the 21st century, we have to find multiple ways of presenting our work to engage uh, with a variety of audiences. So we tried to tailor a certain core experience to um, a variety of different platforms in order to make the work as accessible as possible. So we didn't go into it thinking it was going to be a transmedia project. I think um, we originally, Hank and Chris originally were thinking maybe it would be like some sort of documentary for PBS, and then you know the three of us start talking more about it, like well, maybe it could be something for HBO or CNN, and it just evolved kind of organically as we kept working to become something that needed to exist on multiple platforms. And, and, and maybe you should define transmedia for folks, this, this notion of working on well, I mean, if like if you were to Wikipedia, Transmedia, and like Merriam-Webster Dictionary, you'd have conflict, kind of conflicting um, definitions because it's still relatively new. But I think what most people will agree to is that Transmedia art is art making that uses a variety of platforms, both physical um, installation, uh, digital platforms, time-based platforms, as well as um, non-time-based. Um, in order to engage with the viewer. So in the case of Question Bridge, we have a theatrical version, which you've seen. There's a, um, an installation version that can be seen in um, gallery spaces. 
Uh, we have a curriculum that deals with question-rich content and relates it to issues that can be applied to um, academic environments, uh, primarily for high school age kids. Uh, we have a series of events that often accompany the screenings and the installations. And is there anything else? Oh, and the website, of course, which is still in progress. Well, you know, it's not completed yet, so I don't, I don't want to count our chickens before they hatch, but that's the other element that we have to engage in. There's currently a website, but our goal is to make it interactive in the sense that uh, people will be able to add their own questions and answers to continue the dialogue beyond what we can do as artists, and also so that we can hopefully expand it to other um, identity groups as well. Okay. Nicole, could you talk a little bit about 